a new moon, then waxing crescent. Next the first quarter, then waxing gibbous. Next comes the full moon, then waning gibbous. Last quarter, waning crescent last. The moon it rotates and orbits the earth. The earth it rotates and orbits the sun. The moon is lit by the sun's bright light. So we have phases of the moon. First there's a new moon, then waxing crescent. Next the first quarter, then waxing gibbous. Next comes a full moon, then waning gibbous. Last quarter, waning crescent last. The moon it rotates and orbits the earth. The earth it rotates and orbits the sun. The moon is lit by the sun's bright light. So we have phases of the moon. So the moon will orbit around the earth and depending on where the moon is, the light of the sun will reflect off of it in different ways and we will see different faces on the moon. So we will start with the new moon, which the new moon is basically black. We can't really see it. And from there, it will get bigger and bigger. So after the new moon, the next phase is called the waxing crescent moon. The crescent looks basically like a banana. It's just a little sliver of the moon showing. And waxing means getting bigger. So the waxing crescent moon is a crescent moon that is getting bigger. And the next phase is called the first quarter moon or a half moon. But the proper name is first quarter moon. And a first quarter moon is also getting bigger, but we don't need to call it waxing. We just call it first quarter moon. And after the first quarter moon, we got the waxing gibbous moon. Waxing gibbous moon. There are two gibbous moons and two crescent moons, which is why we say the words waxing and waning, which I will teach you in a minute. The waxing gibbous moon is... A moon that is almost a full moon, but not quite. Still a little part missing. And it's waxing, which means it's getting bigger. And then we got the one that everybody knows, the full moon. The full moon is the moon at its biggest phase. So those stages we just went through are called waxing when the moon is getting bigger. Now, after a full moon, it can't get any bigger. So it starts getting smaller again, which is called waning. Waning. So the next moon after the full moon will be the waning gibbous moon. Waning gibbous moon, which will have a little piece of it missing. Okay, And then we go from the waning gibbous moon down to the third quarter or last quarter moon. And the last quarter moon is another half moon. So it's getting smaller again, but we don't need to say waning. We just say last quarter moon. And after the last quarter moon, we got another crescent moon. Now this one is getting smaller, so it's called waning crescent moon. Waning crescent moon. Again, which looks a little bit like a banana. And then after that, we are back to the new moon where we can't see the moon anymore. And the time that it takes to go through this full cycle is about one month. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.